Well, I decided not to record putting any more epoxy on because it's uh, pretty much more of the same as what you've seen in the last video. I'll be flipping her over tomorrow. And there will be more interesting things to record as I start installing her innards. The outside the hull is a long ways from being finished yet, but uh, I figured it's uh, better to uh, flip her over now, uh, brace her so that she's uh, so to make sure she don't have a twist in her. And then once all the insides is in and the gunnels is on and everything, then I'll uh, flip her bottom off again and uh, finish the outside. Well, I just completed the flip, but uh, I didn't record any of it. Two reasons, really. Uh, one, I didn't uh, consider it relevant to the build. And number two being, when I'm here working by myself, I consider it as more important to uh, concentrate on uh, safety rather than uh, concentrating on uh, trying to record the actual flip. It went pretty smooth and uh, never took very long. So it's time now to start removing our temporary innards and start cleaning up the squeeze out from the edge gluing of our strips, which I'm happy to see that there's not really that much of. Well, I started to scrape off the squeeze out from the seams, but uh, she seemed a little bit uh, squabbly with no insides in her. So I decided to make the gunnels and install them to uh, stiffen her up a little. So the gunnels is made from uh, two layers of uh, 7 16th by uh, one and a quarter, and they're uh, laminated together with uh, thickened epoxy. Looking at drawings during uh, my research on uh, the shape of uh, white hulls, it appeared to me that they were a little straighter on top than our traditional Newfoundland Rodneys. But when it came time to put the gunnels on, I decided to uh, sweeten her shear a little bit and give her a little more of the Rodney look. Well, this is where the shear has been uh, modified a little. I laminated the gunnels in place yesterday, but they're not bonded to the hull yet because uh, they've got to come off and be cleaned up. 
I'm going to modify the share of the boat a little now to uh, match the share of the gunnels. I've already begun installing the frames for the floor structure. I installed these two sets yesterday. The frames uh, will be spaced uh, 10 inches apart on center. I won't be recording installing all of them, but uh, to give you an indication of uh, what's involved, I will record some of the prep work and how the frames are laminated up before they're bonded in place. <coughs> That's another uh, set of frames for the floor structure laminated up and clamped into their forms. There are three laminations in this structure. It makes for a very stiff frame. When the epoxy sits up and they're released from their forms, there's uh, zero spring back. 